Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. I came swimming. <laughs> I can. Llegamos nadando, pero llegamos. <laughs> hello, my dear class. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. My God. It has been raining a lot. A lot, right? It has been crazy, this rain. How was your weekend, my dear students? Nice. It was nice. You say, yeah, nice. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay, so it is a, it's a great pleasure for me to be here with you and for sure to have the opportunity to share another class with all of you, right? Today, we are going to work a little bit on the body parts. I sent you a picture this morning about uh, the parts of the body. We are going to talk a lot about that. And for sure, we are going to be discussing a little bit of the health problems, okay? We are going to talk about health problems and the things that affect us, right? according to the health okay so that's what we're going to be doing today i am glad that your weekend was good my weekend was nice as well and welcome many of you are already connected welcome fatima sandrita lisette cynthia mirna Guadalupe, Adriana, Mr. Roberto, Jorge Francisco, Mr. Josue, welcome, welcome, David. Nice to see you. Ana Isela, hello, Mr. Oscar Otoniel, no te veo en tu pantalla, en tu camarita. Tatiana Abigail, David, Brian Francisco, tampoco puedo ver sus cámaras. Laurita, Diana, en Ana Ruth, me ayudan con la cámara, please. Very good. Teacher. Yeah. Estoy desde mi celular porque no hay internet, entonces estoy usando mis datos y en esta aplicación no sé por qué me dice que la cámara no está disponible. Ok, so I understand, I understand, but try to be connected, ok? I don't know why, why, because it, it normally works, but it's ok, Ana Ruth, I understand. Ok, so for the rest, help me with, with that. Thank you, Laurita, I can see you now, ok? And I know it's still raining, right? Todavía está lloviendo en muchos lugares, así que we understand. Be careful with the lightings, right? Cuidado con los rayos ahí. Pónganle una toalla al espejo. Yeah, because... Ya no me acordaba que hacíamos eso antes. Yeah, many people say that it's good, right? So let's do it. Today, we are going to practice a little bit of the parts of the body, right? We have the different parts of the body, but first uh, we're going to talk about health problems and body parts, right? That's what we're going to be developing today. Remember the agreements of the class, right? Practice as much as possible. Ask for help when needed. Keep your cameras on during the whole class. Keep the microphones up if we are not using them. Attend your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude and cooperate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Remember, my dear class, that we need to work on the platform, right? La plataforma es un trabajar constante. No nos detenemos, okay? If you want to finish it, finish it. There is no problem, right? Que solo le digan, no voy a trabajar solo un ejercicio, dos, tres. No, if you want to finish all the exercises, do it, right? If you want to work on all the different exercises in the weekend, do it, right? There is no problem. Al contrario, el problema es no trabajar. Si la trabajan mucho más, there is no problem. So please, advance on your platform. Advance section two, three, four, five. And if you need help, for sure, consult on the WhatsApp group. And we are going to be more than glad to help you. Okay, so talking about the body, we have a lot of different parts on the body. And you might think, hey, what is the name of this? What is the name of this? What is the name of this, right? 
how do you say this in English? So now we are going to develop this in the class, right? All these parts of us, right? This is your head, right? This is your the head. Vamos a con las fiestas infantiles. Head, shoulder. So this is your head. When you have something bad here in your head, it's a headache, right? You say like, what? Well, it's a headache. It's un dolor de cabeza, right? Headache. We're going to see the health problems later on. You have the head. In the head, you have the hair, right? You have your hair, the head and the hair. Wait, let me see. I, okay, relajo time. We have the head. We have the eyes, right? Your eyes. Don't say ages, please. In the love of God, don't say ages. Say eyes. How do you call this ones? The eyes. 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 What color are your eyes? What color are your eyes? Brown ones. Brown. brown. Yeah, I'm brown. Any other color that we have? No? Brown. My eyes are green. They are green. green. They, look, they look brown, but they are green, <laughs> right? So that that's, you can ask, right? What color are your eyes, right? Your eyes. This is your ear, right? This is your ear, the eyes. ear, the eyes and the ear, eyes, and your ear. What is the name of this? This is your nose, right? Your nose. This is your nose. The nose. The mouth. All this is your mouth, right? Toda esta parte, su boca. All this is your mouth. Inside the mouth, you have the tooth and the teeth. The tooth is only one, only one. And the teeth is everything that you have there, right? Toda ahí la linda sonrisa completa. Those are your teeth. How do you call only one? Only one, como le decimos? Tooth. 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 And all tooth. of them? Teeth. 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 Okay, yeah. this one is your chin. Yeah. Chin. Barbilla. How do you call this one in Spanish? Barbilla, right? The chin. Barbilla. The chin. These ones are your cheek. 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 Las mejillas, right? Cheek. The cheek. This one is your shoulder, right? Your shoulder. Your shoulder, right? Sus hombros. Por eso el shampoo se llama head and shoulders. <laughs> head and shoulders para hombres y mujeres. Head and shoulders. <laughs> I didn't know it. Eh? So the one that it's right here, this is your back. Your back, right? The back. This one that it's behind your head, Esta parte de aquí atrás es su cabeza. It's the neck. That's why they say, le dieron. Sí, sí. Hello. Es como la nuca siempre. Exactly, right? And you say like, terminó, terminó contigo tu novia. Sí, y te dio en la neck. <laughs> so the neck, right? You have the neck. The next one that you have here is the throat. This is your throat, tu garganta, right? When you are sick, you have sore, sore, significa dolor o adolorido, sore throat, and you are like, eh, 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 eh. sore throat, right? The part of the body that is here at the front for the men, it's called chest, es el pecho. El pecho es en general para todos, right? The chest. But for the ladies, that we have it here in the picture of the ladies is the breast. Okay, es el pecho, pero para una mujer es breast. Y para un hombre es chest. Okay. So we have the stomach, right? Here you have the stomach as well in the picture of the lady. 
Right here, you have the stomach high. Here you go. In the part of your hand, you have, these ones are called fingers. Fingers, this one. This one, it's called thumb. Thumb. Por eso decimos, thumbs up. Thumbs up is like dedos arriba, like, right? Thumbs up. That's the phrase, right? Thumbs up. This part of your hand, esta parte es humano, this part of your hand, it's called wrist. Esa es la muñeca. No le va a decir la doll. No, wrist, right? Wrist. Por aquí la tenemos, right? This is called wrist. It's right here, right? The wrist. It's here. This one that you have here, it's the elbow. The elbow. Cuando alguien sea tacaño con usted, no le vaya a decir elbow. No. It's called stingy. Stingy es la acción de llamar a alguien tacaño. Right? Stingy. But elbow means codo, codo. The elbow, right? The elbow. The next one, you have this part of your arm that it's called forearm. Esta parte del frente de su brazo, this one, it's called forearm, forearm. And you have it right here, forearm. And all this, it's called hand, right? Give me your hand, raise your hand, right? Hands up, hand, hand, hand. So let's go back here. Let's go back to the next picture, right? The thumb, the hand, and the fingers, right? The thumb, the hand, and the fingers. Let's continue. If you go down on the body, si ya bajamos a la parte de nuestro cuerpo, you have the leg. What is the leg? <laughs> I'm gonna show you the leg, but it's all this part of down of your body, right? The leg, toda su pierna, right? That's the leg. The knee, it's justo el lugar más crujiente de la vida después de los 25. The knee, la rodillita, right? The knee, right? The ankle, the ankle, it's this part of your body, right? This is the ankle, okay? We need to be very careful because uncle, uncle es tío, okay? No le voy a decir, ah, me duele el uncle. <laughs> Su tío. Oh. <laughs> no, right? It's ankle. <laughs> Siempre se van a acordar de que nunca le van a decir uncle al tobillo. <laughs> se van a acordar de mi chiste. So, ankle. Uncle, su tío. Ankle, tobillo. Tobillo, tu tío, no. Tobillo. Ankle, uncle, tu tío. So be careful on that, right? Don't get them confused. Then you have your foot. It's only one is foot. The two of them, so dos piecitos, son feet, okay? Y su dedito de los pies no le diga fingers. My fingers of my feet. No, they are called toes. Toes, okay? Toes son sus deditos de los pies, the toes. Okay, esos son los imanes de los muebles. The toes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't Ouch. know why. It happens, right? Veo un mueble y sus dedos. Hay que pegarle. So, <laughs> the toes. Those are the little fingers of your feet. The toes. Toes, 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 toes. So, I have here more parts of the body, right? In this one, it is not naked, right? It's just muscles. La teacher me enseñó un muñeco de nudo. No, it's muscles, right? Son músculos. You have a specific parts like this ones. These are the eyebrows. The eyebrows. The cheek is this one, right? La mejilla. The chin, the eye, and the mouth. You have also here the chest, right? The chest, el pecho. The arm, todo el brazo, right? The arm, the wrist, 
the wrist, it's this part. And the palm is this part of your hand, right? The palm, this is the palm. The leg, the foot, and the knee, right? You have also the forehead. What is the forehead? Frente. La frente, right? Tenemos más de cuatro, right? I know, cinco casi. Y si nos quedamos, si nos estamos quedando aquí como el garage, more than five. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we, are, we are losing the hair. Let's see. Um, the nose, the lips, the lips, right? Los labios, the lips. And here you have the head, the head, right? The ears, the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, right? The hip, what is the hip? Shakira moves them a lot. ¿Qué es lo que más mueve Shakira? The hips. Cadera. Cintura. La cadera. La cadera. And here we have the forearm, that it's this part of the arm. And in here, we have a, the thumb, the thumb, and we have the fingers, the tights. The tights are los muslos, right? The tights. And we also have the chicken tights, los muslos de pollo, the ones that you eat. So, but the tights is muslos, right? Los muslos, this part of the, of the body. The calf. The calf is the favorite part for the calambres, right? The calf. This one, right? La pantorrilla. And the shin, be careful because this one is chin. Chin, and this one is shin, right? The shin is like como la chimpinilla, right? <laughs> la chimpinilla. Here is this part of the, of the leg, right? La parte frontal de la piel. Then you have the ankle. The heel es el talón. The heel is el talón. Por eso los zapatos de las chicas se llaman high heels. Porque elevan el tacón. So, the shoes are called high heels. Los tacones de las chicas se llaman high heels. ¿Por qué? Porque el tacón queda elevado. High heels. Okay. So, and let me see from the lady here. We have a, I think we have the same, right? The foot, the bottom, it's the back of your body, right? The bottom, the one that your mother used to spank when you were a little kid, right? The bottom is la parte trasera del cuerpo. The bottom. Se portaba mal de chiquito? Bang, on the bottom, right? So there you go, the bottom. The upper arm is la parte de arriba del brazo, right? The upper arm. The ones that are on your face, for example, these ones on your eyes, this one here, they are called eyelashes, right? They are called eyelashes. This one, right? The eyelashes, son las pestañas the eyelashes. And I think we have most of the parts of your body. Let's see. And I am going to ask you a couple of questions. How do you say estomago in English? Stomach. 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 How do you say frente in English? Forehead. 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 forehead, good, forehead. Yeah. How do you say pelo in English? Hair. 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 How do you say nariz in English? No. 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 Nose. How do you say mejillas in English? Chin. Chin. Chin, Chin. Chin is this one, right? Cheek. 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 How do you say eh, dedo pulgar in English? Thumb. 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 Very good. How do you say pecho de hombre in English? Chest. 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 How do you say pecho de mujer Chest. in English? 
Breast. Breast. Very breast. good. Por eso se llama, el, el hecho de la lactancia breast. se llama breastfeeding. Breastfeeding es amamantar o la lactancia, right? That's breastfeeding. That's the action of this one. How do you say rodilla in English? Knee. Knee, right? Knee. How do you say codo in English? Elbow. 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 <laughs> How do you say brazo in English? Arm. 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 How do you say pestañas in English? Eyelashes. 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 How do you say dedos de la mano in English? Finger. Finger. Fingers. 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 ¿Cómo se dice dedos de los pies? Two. Two. Toes. Toes, right? Toes. 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 Okay, you need to be very careful because it's toes. Because toes. if you tell me toad, este es sapo. Toad. Toad, toad. es sapo. Toes son los deditos de los pies. Ah, frog es rana. Ah, okay. Frog. And toad is sapo. Toad okay. pet. Good, very good. How do you say... Eh, how do you call this thing? Oh my God. Pantorrilla in English. She. Uh, calf. Oh. Calf, calf, right? You call it calf. How do calf. you say chimpinilla in English? Chin. 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 Very good. Chin. You say chin. Okay. Show me. Show me. Muestrenme. Show me your ears. Ears. Your ears. Good, okay. good, good. Show me your hands. Show me your stomach. <laughs> here. You can show it like this. You say it's right here, right? Aquí, teacher, hay una pancita en la cámara. Show me your hair. Your hair. Your hair. Very good job. Show me your eyes. Your eyes, right? Eyes. <laughs> Show me your fingers. Spirit fingers. Show me your lips. Okay. <laughs> Show me your thumb. Ah, that's a new one, right? What is mm. it, you say? What is the meaning Lengua. of that one? Lengua. 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 <laughs> Show me your thong. That's another part of the body, right? It's yes. a thong. The thong. Thong. Okay. Thong. The thong. And uh, let me see. Show me your eyebrows. Your eyebrows. The eyebrows, right? Because the eyelashes are this ones, right? These are the eyebrows. Touch your neck. Your neck, right? Touch your neck. Touch your shoulders. Your shoulders, okay? Your shoulders. shoulders. Touch your arms. Your arms. Your arms. Touch your knees. Touch your knees. I cannot see you, but you can touch your knees. Oh. <laughs> El cofal. Touch El co your knees. Touch your knees. Now, Marihuana. Marihuana. <laughs> yeah. There is another one that is called, I, I don't remember. <laughs> Move your feet. Move your feet. Move your feet. Move your feet. Move your head. Move your head. This was a kinesthetic class, right? Move your shoulders. Move your shoulders. Para que no se duerman, move your shoulders. Move your body. You have your body, right? Move your body. So those are the different parts of your body. And for sure, it is important to know the parts of the body because if we know the parts of the body, we can talk about the problems with the body, okay? So 
before we move on on this one, we are going to just repeat, okay? Repeat after me, and we're going to read the vocabulary. Head. 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 Eye. Eye. Ear. Ear. Nose. No. Mouse. Mouth. Tooth. 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 Teeth. Teeth. Chin. 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 Back. 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 Shoulder. Shoulder. Chest. Chest. Stomach. 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 Thumb. 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 Hand. 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 Fingers. 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 Leg. 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 Knee. 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 Ankle. 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 Foot. 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 Feet. 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 Toes. 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 Very good job. And in here, for sure, we have the other ones that are the extra ones that we have here. We have hand. Um, We're going to go in the order of the numbers. Hand. Hand. Shoulder. Shoulder. Head. 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 Neck. Neck. Finger. 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 Thumb. 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 Wrist. 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 Elbow. 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 Breast. 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 Belly. Breast. Tight. Tight. Knee. Knee. Lower leg. Lower leg. Toe. 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 Calf. Calf. Ankle. 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 Foot. 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 Bottom. 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 Back. 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 Upper arm. Upper arm, forearm, forearm, and that's it. And that's the last one. Okay. So, about the different problems that we can have with the body, right? Because the body is a perfect machine, but in sometimes it doesn't work very well, right? A veces la máquina se nos arruina. And we have it. For example, you have a bad cake. What is the meaning of ache in this case? Ache es dolor de, dolor de, backache, right? It's like, oh my God, that's a very common one if you are sitting all the time. If you have an earache, it's a pain on your ear, right? Inside and outside, it's an earache. Ache on the head, headache, a headache. It's a Oh my God, when your head hurts, cuando te duele la cabeza, it's a headache. A stomach ache. A stomach ache, it's un dolor de estómago. Stomach ache. Is there anything that causes you a stomach ache? ¿Qué les causa un dolor de estómago a usted? The pupusas. The spicy food. The spicy, the pupusa. The milk. That's a very common one. The beans. The beans. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, Lisa, that you are that you don't, don't eat beans. I remember. The beans. What about? What else? When I get angry, for example, si me enojo, I get a stomach ache. That's I'm nervous. For sure. When I'm nervous, right? When I am nervous, I get stomach ache. And it's like, oh my God. When you have an important event, when you have an exam, when you have an interview when you have an oral presentation, right? So you have a stomach ache. That's a very common one. Las pupusas. ¿A quién le dan dolor de estómago las pupusas? Ajá. ¿Alguien dijo a mí? Yeah. Oh my God, Wendy. <laughs> you... I know, I know. The pupusas, the poor pupusas. Qué estrés, qué estrés. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Azure, azure, un dolor de... Muelas, oh my God, a thudic. That is the worst pain on earth, right? A thudic. Okay, there you have a cold. A cold is un resfriado, right? Un resfriado común. A cough fue la más temida en la pandemia, right? The cough. Because you, you used to be like, <laughs> que nadie me oiga toser. 
the cough. That was the most horrible feeling, right? In pandemia, si tosía era así como, apuñale. The cough. It was horrible. It was horrible. I, it happened to me on the bank, right? Just in the bank, yo, <laughs> and I felt everything here, and I was like, <laughs> and everybody were like, "Sáquenla, sáquenla del banco." It was very horrible. The cough. Que se la lleven a las compras de cuarentena. <laughs> yeah, que se la lleven a la playa, pero a la cuarentena. Ese. Fever, fever was another enemy in the pandemic, right? Creo a cuántos de ustedes le dio fiebre mental. COVID mental, yo creo que tuvimos todo. Medio, una media, todo. COVID, COVID. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Me no, a mí sí me dio COVID, de verdad. Oh my God. We have a survivor here. Oh my God. But thank, thank God that you are here. Gracias a Dios que no le está contando aquí. Because that was really horrible, right? Yes. Era, una, era una cosa que nos podía matar más la mente. It was really bueno, horrible. Automático. <laughs> Yeah, I was como siete veces. The fever, right? The flu, it's this thing that takes you to bed, right? The flu is la gripe, pero gripe que te lleva a la cama. Okay. So, like, uh, uh, llamen a mi abogado. So the, the flu, right? It's, uh, Eso solo uh, le da a los hombres. <laughs> y los hombres... Y hacen testamento cuando les da gripe. Son mentiras. <laughs> Al mío, sí. Sí. Ajá, ajá. It, it is the same, right? Oh, it's yeah. really. It's real, right? Yeah. Mi esposo dice, llama a la Kiara, me quiero despedir. <laughs> When he has the flu. And uh, yeah. Es and I'm like. <laughs> no, hay hombres que son bien fuertes. Hay hombres que sí son bien fuertes. Hay otros que sí son bien débiles. Pero aquí solo tenemos a los fuertes. All the ones that are here are the strong ones. Teacher. The flu, yes? What, what is the difference between a cold and the flu? Okay, a cold is just like a chew, a chew, and that's it, right? No more. It's like very, um, how can I say? It's not really dangerous and it's not really hard. No es tan fuerte ni es tan peligroso como una, como una gripe ya severa. In some cases, the cold is just like a chew, a chew, a couple of sneezes. Uh, a little bit of fluid on the nose, but that's it, right? But the flu is like the shaking and the, just like, uh, uh, it's really hard, right? La, okay. la, la gripe en sí es como más severa. Okay. Eso es como un resfrío, nada más. Like if you go to a taco one day and you, and you didn't have a sweater, right? Fue a taco y no llevo suéter. Achu, achu, and that's it, right? That's the difference. The flu, it's like more dangerous. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, sweetie. Sore eyes. Jorge, tell me. The flu is horrible. When I have flu, I want to die. <laughs> you see a good example of the man with the flu. The flu, it's a really, really hard thing, right? Cuando te da gripe, esa que no te saliste de la cama, sentí que te moriste y te paraste. So, sore eyes. Sore eyes is when your eyes are very irritated, right? Sore eyes. Sore significa irritado o adolorido, porque no podemos tener, eh, por ejemplo, en, en este caso que decimos stomach ache, que es dolor de estómago, right? Headache, dolor de cabeza. Eric, dolor de oídos. Backache, dolor de espalda. But you cannot say I ache because it's not appropriate in English. You say sore eyes. Cuando tienes alguna parte del cuerpo adolorida o mal, o say sore throat, porque no tenemos como throatic. No, right, no hay como una palabra específica para el dolor de garganta con ache, no, sore throat, la garganta adolorida, right? I have a sore arm, you say, I have a sore arm and it's like, ah, I don't know what happens with my arm, right? It's sore, o sea, está adolorido. And what is the question that you use on this one? So you say, what's wrong? Do you have a headache? Imagine if you see a person, right? Si llega a su trabajo y ve a un compañero suyo, like this. And you say, what's wrong? Do you have a headache? 
So, yeah, it hurts, right? He's depressed. <laughs> Solo está deprimido. <laughs> I was me <mimido>. meal. <laughs> what do you have? Do you have a headache? It's like, oh my God. Do you have a headache? It's like, yes. Or I don't know what's going on. I think I will have the flu. Do you have an earache? An earache, sorry. Yes, that's right, right? An earache. Dolor de oídos. What's your problem, right? What's your problem right now? How do you act? Como actúan? How do you act when you have a headache? ¿Cómo me daría cuenta yo que ustedes tienen dolor de cabeza? Ajá. ¿Cómo me daría cuenta en cámara si tienen dolor de cabeza? Put my hands in my head. You put your hands in your head, right? Like this, like... Right? That, because you have a headache. How would you represent that you have a toothache? ¿Cómo me daría cuenta que tienen un dolor de muelas? A toothache. Oh my God, right? A toothache. How oh, will yeah, I know? Yeah. How will I know if you have an earache? Tienen dolor de oídos. How would you represent that? It's like, oh, teacher, oh. Right? How would you represent that you have sore eyes? ¿Cómo me representan que tienen los ojos irritados? That you are like, I can see you. I can see you, teacher. <laughs> I cannot see you either. Yo tampoco te puedo ver. Es como yo en este momento viendo así. Ah, yeah, he said like, like. Yes. Yeah, yes. so those are sore eyes, right? So you see, you have many different health problems, right? That you can represent. So let's continue right here. I have here more examples, right? Asthma. Asthma, what is it? It's when you have a respiratory problem that includes for sure the throat, the lungs, and the head, right? It's the asthma. A backache, right? I already explained it. A broken leg. A backache. A backache, right? Backache is like, ah, mi falda, oh my God, right? A broken leg. Una pierna rota, right? A cold, un resfriado, right? There you have a cold. The next one, a cough. <laughs> Right, an eric, dolor de oreja, fever, <laughs> you see the boy that it's on red, right? And the flu, right? Here you have the flu. You have a headache, heartburns. What are heartburns? Son agruras. Yes. Uh, agruras. A heartburn. It's like, oh, como ese, ese fuego que siente en el estómago, right? These are heartburns. Misless is sarampión. Misless is sarampión. A rash is, for example, when you have a mosquito bite and you scratch it and then it makes it bigger, right? Cuando te rascas y se empeora. And then it's all, all over your body. It's a rash. Did you ever have dengue or chikungunya? Yeah, no, yes, no. Yes, me. That's yes, all. me. I had dengue and then chikungunya and then Zika. <laughs> It was horrible. And then you get a lot of rash all over your body. So, and also when you have a, when you have this thing like varicella, chicken pox. When you have chicken pox, chicken pox is varicella, chicken pox. You also get a lot of rash, right? Chicken pox is varicella. A sore throat. <clears throat> right sore throat it hurts right it hurts then you have the next one the next one is a stomach ache or a stomach ache in british the sunburn is quemadura de sol the sunburn when you go to el mahawal and you don't put any sunscreen, right? I understand, puro pesto del día. But then at night, you are like, eh, 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 eh. you cannot stand anything, right? No me toquen, no me miren, no me hablen, because it hurts, right? That it's a sunburn. Quemadura del sol. Have you ever had a sunburn? Algún día se han quemado así de, 
don't touch me yes, <laughs> yes. and you're like and you feel hot all your body feels hot y si te pones un hielo lo derretite lo caliente de la piel so that's a sunburn a sunburn and a thudic, right a thudic is when you have a pain on your tooth okay so those are the different health problems that you might have that you might suffer so the questions how do you express that you feel bad or that you feel sick what's the matter what's wrong right what's the matter what's wrong what is the meaning of what's the matter ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué tenés? What's wrong is like, ¿te sentís mal? ¿Estás mal? ¿Qué, qué está mal? ¿Qué tenés? What's wrong? It's like, ¿qué pasa? And you say, I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. I have anything. I have a rash. I have sunburn. I have a headache, a turic any of these health problems, right? You can say, I have and the health problems. If you want to express how you feel, that's different. How are you? How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Cómo estás? And then you say, I feel homesick. What is the meaning of homesick? Do you have any idea? Enferma, teacher. No, no, really. Homesick is when you are in another country. Imagine if you travel to the United States, right? Nostalgico. Exactly like that, but for your country. When you say, imagine that you are in, in, in Los Angeles. No, in Los Angeles, no, because there are a lot of pupusas there. Imagine that you are in, in Idaho, for example. And then you say like, ay, the pupusas, ay, mi abuelita, ay, mi gato, ay, mi perro. Everything that you left in your country, so that is homesick, uh -huh. melancholic, right? Uh -huh. That is the meaning of? You miss a food. When, when you miss your food, exactly. When you miss your house, when you miss your bed, and it happens, right? Homesick. I feel better, you say. Imagine that yesterday you were sick, but today? You feel better, right? Ayer tenía tierra, pero ya no tenés nada. Ayer tenía dolor de estómago, hoy no tenés nada. Ayer tenía vómito, hoy ya no tenés nada. So I feel better. And if you say, for example, you ate 20 mango ciruelas and you say, I don't feel well. <laughs> oh my God. Say, pero los lavaste. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't feel well, okay? So, después tome leche, you say. I don't feel well, right? Atol de lote and then water. Oh my God, I don't feel well. That's a problem, right? I don't feel well. How would you use it with the negative or the positive adjectives? And in this case, you say, I feel sick. Me siento enfermo. I feel awful. Awful is like, ah. Uh, really bad. I feel awful. Me siento horrible. Me siento mal. I feel terrible. Terrible. Like, ah, oh, please. I feel miserable. Miserable, you have the flu and you have cough and then a stomachache. Tenías tos, tenía gripe y de ahí te da dolor de estómago. I feel miserable, right? Miserable. Si me muevo toso, si respiro toso, right? It's horrible. Good adjectives that you can use. Fine. Great. Terrific. Terrific is not terrorífico, right? Terrific is perfect. De maravilla. Terrific. And fantastic, for sure, is the same as in Spanish, right? Fantástico. Excelente. I feel fantastic. So, if I ask you right now, imagínense que ustedes tienen una enfermedad ahorita. Invéntense una enfermedad. You can have anything of this one, right? You can have a toothache, you can have a headache, a stomachache, a backache, the flu, whatever thing. And I am going to ask you two questions. 
What do you have and how do you feel? Esta es la pregunta que le voy a hacer. What do you have and how do you feel? You have to invent one of the health problems. Me tiene que inventar uno de los problemas de la salud. Y un adjetivo. How do you feel? And you are going to tell me. If you tell me, for example, I have a toothache, I feel fantastic. It's not possible, right? So you are going to use one of the adjectives and one problem. Okay, write it down right now. Escriban su respuesta. Invent one, okay? Invent one. And I am going to open the attendance. Para mientras voy a abrir la asistencia. Write your answer. Escriban su respuesta. Write your answer. What do you have and how do you feel? Teacher, I can write and feel so happy for this class. You can have. I feel so happy for this class, but we are practicing the health problems. Ahorita vamos a practicar los problemas de salud. So choose one health problem. Okay, escoge un problema de salud y un adjetivo. For example, I have a headache, I feel bad. I have a stomachache, I feel horrible. Okay, something like that. But thank you because you feel happy with the class. Teacher, y sería I feel sad, sad because I have the flu. Yes, that's a good example. I feel sad because I have the flu. Okay. That's a good example. Very good example. Okay, le voy a pasar lista. Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present. Okay. Let's go here. Ana Isela Janes. Here, teacher. Ana Ruth Perez. Present. Brian Francisco Blanco. Brian Francisco. Hey, Briancito, ¿qué pasó? No se me pudo conectar. Me lo agarró la boca. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto. Cintia Marisol. Present. David Alejandro. Here. David Rafael. Present. Diana Beatriz. Present. Diego Rodrigo. Diego Rodrigo. Ok. Eh, Eric Javier. Present. Fatima Ivin. Thank you, Fatima. Me levantó la manita. Jorge Francisco. Jorge Francisco López. Uh, here, teacher. Sorry. Thank you. Josué Abel. Present, teacher. Juana Margarita. Juanita. Sorry, teacher. Brian Blanco present. Okay, Brian. Hello. ¿Dónde estaba Brian? Dije. <laughs> Let's see. Eh, Catherine Jamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Laura Lisette. Aquí estoy. <laughs> Thank you. Lorena Araceli. Lorenita. Lorena, Lorena. Okay, no tengo a Lorenita. Eh, Josué, yes, right here, I got it. Eh, Mirna Yasmin. Present teacher. Oscar Otoniel. Present. Reina Yael. Present. Roberto Carlos. Present. Sandra Beatriz. Present. 
Sebastiana Guadalupe. Present. Tatiana Abigail. Present. Úrsula Adriana. Present, teacher. And Wendy Lisset. Present. Excellent. Lorenita Araceli. No está. Diego Rodrigo. Ni Carlos Ernesto. Okay. I have, uh, I feel sick. I have a stomachache and nausea. Oh, my goodness. Oscar, yeah, that's really bad. Let's see about the other ones. What's happening with you? I am going to go one by one. Fatima Ibing, what's wrong? Fatima, what's wrong? ¿Qué te pasó? Fatima Ibing. Me hemos perdido a Fatima. Guadalupe, what's wrong? Yo. No. Uh -huh. Guadalupe. Um, I have a chicken pox. You have chicken pox. Oh my God. How do you feel? I feel awful. I feel awful. Okay. En el caso de chicken pox, no decimos a ah, chicken pox. Eso es muy importante. No se lo expliqué. I have chicken pox. Chicken pox. Porque es en general, right? Valicela. Because yeah. you have, if I have a chicken pox, <laughs> es solo una. Una. <laughs> Maybe that's the, the beginning, right? A chicken pox. That's the beginning yeah. of everything. And Isela, what do you have? I have, I have a sore eyes. You have sore eyes. Ese es otro caso. Sore eyes. Sore eyes, porque los, te, estás hablando en plural. I have sore eyes, right? I have sore, sore eyes. eyes. How do you feel? I feel awful. Oh my goodness. Catherine, what do you have? I have back pain. You have a backache. And how uh, do you feel? I feel very sleepy. I'm very sleepy. But we are about to finish. Don't worry. In cinco minutos te libero. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I understand. I understand. Cynthia Marisol, what do you have? I have a headache. You have a headache. How do you feel? I feel awful. Oh, I feel awful. Adriana, what do you have? I have a headache. And how do you feel? I feel tired. Tired. Reina, what do you have? I have my knee hurt. Ah, okay, my knee hurts. You say, how do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel? I feel tired. Oh I my God. Tired. Oh, me too. <laughs> Sandra Beatriz, <laughs> what do you have? Hey. My back hurts. Your back hurts. How do you feel? Uh, I feel happy. <laughs> I feel happy. Aquí con dolor. Okay, that's good. That's good. Mr. Jorge. Con dolor, pero feliz. Yeah, for sure. Mr. Jorge, how do you feel? I have the flu. Now you have the flu. And how do you feel? Yeah, I don't feel well. I don't feel well, right? I don't feel well. David, what do you have? I have. I have two Davids. Okay. David Rafael y después David Alejandro. Okay. David Rafael. I have sore eyes. And how do you feel? I feel tired. No, I feel tired. David Alejandro, what do you have? I have the flu. I have the flu. Ooh, how do you feel? And I, I feel the tired. I feel tired. Okay. Laura Lisette, what do you have? I have migraine. Oh, you have migraine. Ah, how do you feel? How do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? Bad, awful, tired, angry. Green? <laughs> I feel, okay, you feel great. That you are like Sandra, that she has a backache, but she feels happy. Say migraine. ¿Cómo te sentís? ¿Te sentís mal? ¿Te sentís eh, estresada? ¿Te sentís adolorida? I, I feel bad. I feel terrible, awful, right? Migraines are horrible. Oh my God. Roberto, what do you have? I have a backache. You have back a backache. A backache. And how do you feel? I feel awful. 
Awful. Josue Abel, what do you have? I have a temperature. You have temperature. And how do you feel? Um, so, so. So, so, right? I feel so, so. Mirna Yasmin, what do you have? The microphone. Sorry. <laughs> I understood. I understood. I have a a chusef. A surek. A surek. A surek. And how do you feel? I feel uh, homesick. Homesick. <laughs> yeah, because you, you need your mother, right, to help you. Oscar Otoniel, what do you have? I have heartburn. You have heartburns. Ah, and how do you feel? I'm terrible. I feel terrible, you say. Ah, ish. Anna Ruth, what do you have? She's very sick because I, I have clothes. <laughs> you have cough. And how do you feel? I feel awful. I feel awful, right? You see? So that's the example, right? That's the example on how you explain something that is happening to you. Tomorrow, we are going to go to the doctor. Okay, mañana vamos a ir a pasar consulta. Catherine, tell me. Catherine. Eh, es un comentario. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, teacher, I like your nights. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> they are very beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. I feel happy now. <laughs> yeah, esta es una buena herencia de mi madre. There you go. <laughs> I like I like to have them nice. Like Creí que eran acrílicas. <laughs> no, they are real. They are natural. Yeah. <laughs> very beautiful. Thank you very much. I know that one. <laughs> Tomorrow we are going to go to the doctor and you are going to be uh, on a role play and one of you is going to be the doctor and the other one is going to be the patient, okay? Mañana vamos a hacer un role play. Uno de ustedes va a ser doctor y el otro va a ser paciente. And you are going to invent what's going on with you. What do you have? And you are going to give medicine to each other and, and so on and on and on. So... We are going to go to the doctor tomorrow. Así que traigan los males mañana que los vamos a utilizar. <laughs> On the manual, you can find this information. Eh, pueden encontrar esta información en el manual. Chicos, envíen el comprobante del recibido eh, de, del manual, que ya recibieron el manual, que lo descargaron. Eso es bien importante. Envíen su comprobante del manual. ¿Quién me falta enviarlo todavía? Sí, Yo. tenemos varios. Please. Yes. Yeah, Roberto, you're missing, Anita. Oh, my God. So please send it tomorrow, first thing in the morning. La primera cosa que van a hacer mañana en la mañana, ¿qué va a hacer? Enviar el comprobante de manual. Okay? Yes. That's very important. It's very, very important for you to do it. And please work on the platform, right? It is really important as well. And on the manual, you can find these conversations that we are going to use it, right? Here, we have the conversation that we are going to be using tomorrow. Esta la encuentran en su manual. Ahí está. And you have the, also the grammar explanation. La grammar que les expliqué ahora también está en su manual. And what we are going to do tomorrow, okay? La cita con el doctor para mañana la pueden ir avanzando. También la tienen en su manual. So that's what we are going to be doing tomorrow, right? Remember to practice, right? Practice the vocabulary, Sorry, practice. Teacher. Sorry? No, no sé si podemos eh, escoger algún compañero para... para <laughs> no, hacer. tomorrow we are going to do it in class. Ah, mañana, okay. mañana lo hacemos en Sorry. clase. Va a ser una rifa de compañeros. Hey, ahí, para que todos nos, nos motivemos tanto a tener la cámara encendida, yo sé que ahora por la lluvia y todo fue muy difícil, okay. pero mañana sí ya creo que nos estabilizamos y que todos puedan tener sus cámaras y que todos puedan participar normalmente. Thank you very much for being in class today. I really enjoy sharing all these things about the health problems. So as all of you are very tired, you are going to go to sleep right now. So what is the best way to recover to sleep, okay? Tomorrow I'm going to say, how do you feel? And you're going to say, better, happy, healthy, right? Much better now. And nothing hurts in my body. So please 
practice the conversations. They are on your manual. And tomorrow we are going to talk about health problems. We are going to do a listening as well. Vamos a trabajar el listening mañana también. So have a beautiful night, my dear students. Be careful with your health. No se mojen, no se van a enfermar. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. See you tomorrow. Good see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Beautiful tomorrow. night. Bye-bye. Night, sir. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Feel better. <laughs> Bye.